Gumby was rich, but he wasn't white man rich. You see, he wasn't wealthy. He didn't own his own company. He thought he did, but he didn't. He just managed it. White man owned it, so they owned him. Nobody owns me, though. YouTube, what's good? It's your boy, Wavy. You already know this is my channel, Mr. Orchard Beach. If you're new to the channel, you haven't hit the subscribe button yet. Hit that subscribe button, like, comment, all the above. And on this farm, he has some cows. E-I-E-I. Ow. So check this out. This is a whole different vid right here. If y'all looking for sneaks and all that, like the butter. And it ain't here. That ain't it. I'm showing you the guns. Let me see that. Look at the cows. They already know, man. When I come through, it's time to, you know, gather around the trough. Yeah, man. People been hitting me up like, oh, yo, I'm loving the farm. And I was like, all right, I've just been shooting this just for the hell of it. Yeah, they were like, yo, sh show a video. So I'm like, all right, go. I'm not really looking for much. I just want to show y'all the uh, day to day. So this is a black owned farm. Me and my father own this farm. They don't know me. Paid for. No contingencies, no loan, no nothing. Cash. The whole farm is about 23 acres. I have five acres myself. Where they at, though? Which is a uh, public record, you know? And I know what you're saying. Oh, well, why'd you um get some of that? You know, uh, uh, you probably inherit. Yeah, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not one to sit back, relax. You know, uh, opportunity came to me. And even though, hey, 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 what the? Okay, four train. You the four train out here? Anyway, man, I. Yo, we coming. Opportunity came um came forth my way, so I like, you know what? Let's let's do it. But uh my father owns all of these uh all the animals here that you're gonna see. So this is the first thing that I do when I come to the farm. I give the cow some water. I fill up this bucket right here and this bucket right there. And I know what you're saying to yourself. Uh is, is that enough for them? I think it is, personally. But my father has three other um like buckets that I could fill up. And matter of fact, there's another bucket on the other side that I have to fill up as well. It's a lot of land, so the cows can usually, you know, go all over the place. It ain't, ain't no problem. So if they want to just chill over here, they not going to die of thirst because they got to walk all the way over there and they be mad lazy. You see them following me. They know what time it is when I'm here and they don't want no water. They want that food. I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to show you the whole dynamics of how I feed these cows. But, um, uh, yeah, I appreciate, um, uh, the cast I was interested in this joint. I just want to share this with y'all right here. You know, ain't gonna be no sneakers. It's just black excellence, you know what I'm saying? No, sorry. What's up, man? Come here. Come here. What's up? Oh, this horse right here I call white privilege. You'll see. You'll see why. And don't be trying to be over here fronting like you wanna greet me. You just you just want me to go over there and feed y'all, that's it. So that's the bull right there. And we got one, two, three, four, and then I think there was a smarter cow that went back over there. So let's just say four cows and one, two, three, four. Math is bad, but it's a lot of beef on this damn farm. Pause. While I'm waiting for the water to fill up, I'm gonna fill up one more water bucket, then we're gonna start feeding them. You're gonna see how they gonna start. They're they gonna get down. Now when giving these cows water, it's always good to put the hose all the way in the bucket. Just in case when you walk off, um, it accidentally falls out, you eliminate all that so you're not wasting water. Are right, y'all gonna be in for a treat because y'all gonna really see them all um, start like bum rushing the show. Today, just because um, I'm out here doing something new, I never go inside of the chicken coop at all. I'll probably go inside of that joint today. And this section over here, we got the goats and the sheep. I think they already know what time it is because they see me walking over here. The goats actually prefer to be fed on that side over there. The sheep like to be fed on this side. I figured that out because one day I usually throw two scoops um, in, in that um, section over there. I noticed that the goats kind of get like, no, the sheep kind of get ran off by the goats. So, you know, I want everything to be fair. Cause we don't we don't practice privilege on this farm, you know. So everything's equal. So we keep the food up in here. Now I used to worry about this. I used to be like, damn. Now I gotta push to pour this thing. No, this how it goes. Yeah. And do this. You lift this up right here. You make sure nothing goes. Okay. It's getting kind of low. Y'all gonna see me uh take this over there and throw the first scoop into that section right there, so the goats can eat. Then I'm gonna go to that section over there with a scoop so the sheep can eat. Let me see if anybody's brave. See if anybody's brave. <laughs> All right, feeding time. All right, hey, y'all know where y'all need to go. So let's not even start that. Here y'all go. Uh. That's one for y'all, my bad. Look, they already starting to run over to the other side. They know. I don't feel like getting head butted out the way. See, they don't have the, they ain't got the tools to 
handle themselves. But what I'll do is, uh, I'm not gonna give them a whole heap. I just, uh, I just break it up a bit. Damn, man, I hate when a fly just keep, just, I mean, damn, get off me. Back up off me like hot coffee, shit. Here you go. And then just to make sure, or try to alleviate anything, I throw the rest right there, just to stop the goats, or just to slow them down from uh, impeding on the sheep's meal. Yo, you see that one right there? <laughs> that nigga got hit, buddy. Yo, my pops put that uh, makeshift whatever on him so he didn't get his head caught in the damn uh, fence no more. I think it, it was like two days in a row. My pops got kind of pissed off and was like, you know what? Got something for you. So my pops, he's not the most uh, patient fellow in these lands. So what he did was he, <laughs> he, he Negro rigged a device that would uh, stop the goat from getting his head caught in that fence. Because sometimes... I think it was another one if I if I can find it. He got his head caught in the gate, but he actually pulled and like ripped his horn. I, I saw number blood on his face one day and I was like, damn. Now you see, they're finished with their food and they like, yo, you know what? Watch how they move out the way. Watch this. They're like, yo, excuse me. They're like, damn, boom. See when they start mobbing, that's when the sheep start getting up out the way. They're like, damn, all right. This is my favorite part of being out here is feeding the cows and the the horse well really the cows nah this land the horse is cool too they already looking too they like man you know what they trying to be subtle because uh white privilege is is that uh corn hit the damn trough oh it's over i think they think that i'm gonna um make a special trip over there for them sadly mistaken look at privy they go white privilege. Look at him. Look at Privy. I see you. Damn, they really think that I'm gonna um, go over there and feed them. They better hurry up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Better make room. They don't want you here. Oh, okay. Really, I am gonna go over there because uh, one cow, I've noticed she doesn't come over to eat for some reason. And I wanna make sure everybody gets a fair deal. Like I said, one thing about this farm right here, we don't practice entitlement. There's no privilege here, none. All right, if any of y'all are brave, I'll feed you up out of here, but I'm not throwing anything, so. What's up, you hungry? I got you, all right, back up. <laughs> oh well before we get to the chickens which i'm gonna wait for my pops to go inside before i go in there because I, I don't mess with them like that this nigga's scared this is some more of the land all back here it used to be trees all the way down to the wood line back there that's ours as well you might be able to see those tree stumps all the way back there too and right there as well where the cows are over there kind of mentioned one time uh some company i don't know the name of the company made no difference to you no they pay us to cut the trees down i just found out about it i remember it was like um about two years ago or something my pops I forgot what happened. I guess I, I, I hadn't talked to him in like two weeks. So then he was like, oh, yo, I've been trying to um, get in contact with you. I, I got some money for y'all. Like, what? He's like, oh yeah, this company came and they cut down on um, some trees. And this is your portion. Hold on, hold on, wait. Let me see. Wait, something, something, nah, you know what, something wrong. His, his a lot fatter than mine. Yeah, you know, take this back. He probably ain't even count that right. Yo, he ain't had to tell me, you know what I'm saying? He didn't, so. That was what's up. So then what they do is they give us, they, well, they give my pops the seeds and well, they come out, they plant more trees. It comes up and then boom, you know? So it's a like a win-win situation, but I don't see any trees growing for another like, I don't know, 10 years or something. This section right here, we only had that one rooster right there. He's been back here by himself the whole time due to the fact none of the other um, chickens like him. Your sneakers too! What's up? 
time you talk about Calvin, <laughs> and you're off the block. I don't know, like they poked his eye, pecked his eye out and everything. So my pops had him by himself. These little ones right here, these younger chickens came out of that chicken coop over there because they was kind of like outgrowing it. They're getting a little too big. So my pops brought them over there. I don't think the new, um, the old chicken really likes them like that. And I kind of see it's kind of like um, gang rules up in here. You know what I'm saying? You see the brothers, they mobbing, you know what I'm saying, together. We don't pay for eggs. Um, I be having to watch it though sometimes because my pops, he, he might try to slide like the the duck eggs in. So I be, I gotta try to make sure, you know, I ain't eating none of that. <laughs> Unlawfulness. We got our ducks right here. Chickens. You want to take some pictures of this uh, duck inside of here with all those eggs? You don't move too fast, you know. Right. You don't want to go over into that corner. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I seen him. Why she doing all that? <laughs> no, I'm saying, why she um huffing and puffing him? Well, she that's because uh, she's protecting him. I'm holding the fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm cool off them. Don't you worry, big fella. <laughs> Coming back there. And I know people are gonna ask this, ask this question. Let me put this out there. Uh, with the cows, again. Those are some, you, you see the size of those cows? You think um, three scoops of corn is gonna uh, do like, like eight cows and a horse? You think that's gonna fill them up? Of course it's not. That's just a snack for them. They eat grass all day. That's what they do. Just like the, the sheep and the goats. Uh, none of them are without. They got a big stack of hay. See back over there, right there. And that's what they eat. And uh, can we get a moment of silence for boy? Hey, don't call me a boy, please. I've never done this before in my life. I've never taken one step in here. My pops used to have a dog. He was kind of mean, you know what I'm saying? Good with children, but mean. <laughs> yeah, uh, he passed away like I think two, three days ago. Yeah. Rest in peace, boy. That's the kid's name? Yep. Yeah. Farm equipment, of course, got the tractor. That's the hitch that cuts the grass. Actually, last week I got to cut the grass for the first time. It was pretty cool. I just, I'm depending on your son to pull the family through. But I'd rather ride the zero turn next time. Um, you know, my pops wants me to come out here, help him. I'd rather do the zero turn because it, it seemed like it can, you know, move pretty fast, but that's, Whatever. This right here, I always saw as a waste of money. My pops is a hoarder. He likes to get deals. Doesn't matter if they are 12 generations under being up to date. So my pops got a um a trailer. He kind of like rocked my mom to sleep. He was like, yeah, yeah, we'll get this. And then we'll go travel. You know, we we'll go to the beach, all this stuff. This trailer hasn't gone anywhere, you know? Nowhere. Ain't no beach. Stays right here. <laughs> beach. Yeah, right. One weekend they came out here to um to spend the weekend, but my mom was like, hell no. Nah. She was like, yo, when it gets dark, it gets dark. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that. Now, one thing I do want to do before I get up out of here, I want to see if I can pet the bull. He'll have me on legend status. I always thought they bite, but they don't. I would have to be in there and he would have to kick me or something or headbutt me. You know what I'm saying? So we're safe. Oh, and right here, my father, he grows. I don't know what he's growing this year, but depending on how long y'all have been rocking with this channel, uh, approximately about two, three years ago, y'all saw me and my father, we went to a uh, Compare Foods and he sold some, some kind of potatoes that he grows. He sold some to uh, Compare Foods. We was in the back way of them joints up. You know what I'm saying? I had the thing on me. <laughs> nah, I just I had the thing on me. I, I had the GoPro on me. Damn. Yeah, right? need a minute. Damn. That's my boy. 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 I usually scare the shit of him. I still am. Yeah. You noticed coming out here like i just used to take it for granted just like all right you know like i would come out and just uh ride my dirt bike or some shit. but now feeding them what the 
No, Mama. You know we've got to do it. I ain't got time for all that noise. Hey, but then I started like seeing their patterns. Not much with the with the um with the chickens and stuff, but I started seeing like you know like yo. My pa said don't be messing with the bull because the other cows in heat. I don't want her. You know what I'm saying? Safe as children's toddler no. <laughs> but anyway, um, come here. So anyway, yeah, man, no, I've I've really um seen like their their patterns, seen like their personalities, especially when it's time to get fed. It was really the goats that kind of well the sheep that turned me on to oh yo feed us over here like <laughs> we can't fuck with them horns. But nah, man. Um, also this ain't it. Like what you see right here, we still have back behind that tree line back there that's ours and further behind that gate that's also ours like i said um it's 23 acres in all i think we purchased this back in 2011 or 12 i forget but maybe 12. yeah so you no know, my dad's done a lot of work when he asked me like to contribute like oh yo we gotta put up a fence i'd be like all right so where's my five acres i just gotta make sure my no. <laughs> but uh yeah so yeah I, I help him out i planted uh potatoes the other day not that uh you would see how to do it but so with the potatoes when you plant them joints for instance they come in the stalks you would lay the stalk down my pops gives me like this stick and then i push the stalk into the ground or the bottom of it into the ground we cut bad bitch next to me thank god kai keep blessing me Aki's outside the windows praying hit the strip see what my nigga sick sick saying smoke a split for breakfast then it's time to get it stands up and somebody comes behind me pause and waters about 2016 me and um some of the homies we wanted to um start a juice bar um i think the plant we 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 had the right idea but it they kind of like fronted on us that's why when jay-z be like oh if you wanted uh if you got 100k and um 800 credit score you, you good uh, you know what i'm saying like bank really fronted on us because what we asked for no cap or nothing i had but it wasn't like i was gonna be like yeah and if we default you know you just take nah but yeah they were like nah somebody on there got the credit wasn't right so we couldn't do it but you know what i'm saying it was all good but i always figured i said you know when it comes to like um carrots and some of the the vegetables we grow them joints right here you know oh quick question if anybody knows about um farming or cows and stuff do uh mushrooms grow out here asking for a friend because if you run up and try to play mine i'd rather have an ak than a fucking k9 because if you shot your gun and my dog tried to fetch her me and the dog's going out here uninvited one of my trustees will put a bullet in your head see you when i see you